Could you really hack your stress and sleep with a simple neck device? Well, that's exactly what Pulsetto claims to do. It promises to reduce stress and improve sleep by stimulating your vagus nerve. That's the one that goes all the way from your brainstem down to your colon. But does it deliver? Or is it just another wellness gimmick? Well, when I saw the Wellman biohacker Ben Greenfield rave about Pulsetto, I had to test it for myself to see if it lives up to the hype or if it's just clever marketing. Spoiler alert, things didn't exactly turn out as advertised. I'll admit, I was excited about Pulsetto. I've always been a fan of using technology in certain cases to optimize health. And the idea of reducing stress without taking extra time for meditation or breathing exercises sounded too good to pass up. And the science behind Vegas nerve stimulation or VNS is promising. It's been shown to reduce stress, improve mood, and even enhance sleep in certain situations. So it's very context specific, but promising nonetheless. So when Pulsetto claimed it could do all this in a convenient wearable form, I was intrigued. But let me tell you, what I discovered during my research and my own testing left me frustrated and disappointed in the brand and in influencers like Ben Greenfield. Before we get into that, you know, here is the concept. Pulsetto uses electrical currents to stimulate the vagus nerve, helping shift your body from a fight or flight state to a more relaxed rest and digest mode. In other words, it downregulates your sympathetic branch and upregulates your parasympathetic branch of your nervous system. And you wear it on your neck, connect it to an app, and select a program for stress, sleep, anxiety, burnout, etc., etc. And on paper, it sounds like the ultimate biohacking tool. But things quickly started to fall apart when I looked into the science behind the claims. Pulsetto heavily markets itself with scientific studies. But here's the kicker. One of their featured studies was doctored, meaning they replaced a diagram of the actual device used in the research, which were ear clips, with an image of their own device, suggesting that the study was conducted using Pulsetto. And that was not true. You know, unfortunately, I didn't take a screenshot of the doctored study before Pulsetto removed it from their webpage. But I do have an email I sent to the co-founder of Pulsetto asking for clarification. And spoiler alert, I never heard back on that email. And if a company cannot answer basic questions about its own claims, I think that's a huge red flag. Now, here is where things get really sketchy. The original study and really all of the study on vagal nerve stimulation use frequencies between 1 at 10 and approximately 100 hertz. In fact, most fall between 10 and 30 hertz. Those are the ranges shown to be effective for vagal nerve stimulation. Pulsetto, it operates at frequencies between 4,500 and 5,200 hertz. And there is zero scientific evidence that I could find supporting that these higher frequencies are efficient or effective for that matter. But, you know, all of the studies, doctored or otherwise uh, put aside, I wanted to find out, does the device work for me, you know? And so what I did is I used a high-end ECG chest strap to monitor, not, or not only to record an ECG, but to monitor certain biomarkers like my heart rate variability, my respiratory rate, my resting heart rate, my heart strain, etc., etc. And I did that for about half an hour, you know, a couple of minutes leading into a Pulsetto session just to get a baseline. Then during the Pulsetto session, and I've marked the, the, the beginning and the end of the Pulsetto session using those bold markers. If you see this on the screen now, you can see two black lines, two um, vertical black lines. Those mark the beginning and the end of the Pulsetto session. And as you can see, there is zero difference between the before during and after. In other words, the device did not work for me at all. And based on what I've seen, I'm guessing the device just doesn't work. Now, in contrast, just a few minutes of intentional breathing exercises made a noticeable improvement in my HRV, as well as my perceived mood. So for me, it's clear that Pulsetto doesn't hold up even against the simplest natural methods of stress, stress relief, like breathing. And let's not forget about their supplement cognitive support it's called you know one of the things that ick me whenever i see dietary supplements is if the brand does not even publish the supplements facts panel that shows exactly the ingredients the amounts and all of the other ingredients that are on in there which are usually crappy ingredients like fillers and flow agents and etc etc they don't publish that either and for me that's another red flag so what's the verdict i think Pulsetto is a scam, plain and simple. Between the doctored studies, the lack of scientific backing, and my own disappointing results, 
I would not recommend it to anyone. But even if it worked, let's say, you know, there is a placebo effect by you feel this tingling and you, you know, that makes you calm down. You know, even with all of that, you know, the fact that they faked research, it matters to me. You know, trust matters and this company has none of it. So even if there is a placebo effect or even if those high frequency stimulation would work for certain people, I would still not recommend uh, the device because of all the reasons I mentioned in this video. Now, if you're tempted to buy Pulsetto, I would say save your $469 or whatever uh, the price is right now if it's on sale and invest it in something that actually works, like 50 pounds of red meat, you know, or tools like Apollo Neuro, you know, that use tactile stimulation to upregulate your parasympathetic sympathetic nervous system. They work, they have actual scientific research to prove that they worked, and we've been using that for a very long time successfully. They truly work, and you don't need to rely on something that has likely been just made up and if that's not your cup of tea you know there are free practices like breath work or cold plunging or exercise or walking in nature walking barefoot you know all of the things are significantly more effective than pulsetto as far as i'm concerned now i'd love to hear from you have you tried pulsetto or another vagus nerve stimulation device or are you sticking with natural methods let me know drop a comment below i'd like to hear your thoughts and don't forget to like this video subscribe for more honest reviews and i'll catch you in the next one